If you want to see what I got in March's BoxyCharm Luxe and the BoxyCharm Premium, keep on watching. Welcome back everyone to Skincare and Beauty with Perky Perkins where I do a lot of unboxings, skincare and makeup tutorials and I also do product reviews along the way. Today you have a two for one special you guys. I actually got both my BoxyCharm Luxe box and my BoxyCharm base box delivered to my home last night. I was actually really surprised in all honesty because I had gotten tracking for the Lux box stating that it would be delivered on Tuesday, but my premium box, even though I had tracking, it had not moved. It just showed up at the same time. So I'm pretty excited about that because again, they're both here. I could do one video for both boxes and let's see if I have anything worthwhile, honestly, because I've seen a few unboxings and I'm on the fence myself, just from what I've seen so far. Now, before I go any further and continue explaining, don't forget to hit that subscribe button Select all in your notifications. This way you're notified the moment I do an upload on the channel. I'm currently trying to upload three times a week, but when I'm able to, I actually will upload even up to five times. And I tend to upload around 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time as well. So if that interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. In case you're not aware or you're new to BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm has their base box, which is $25 per month. And um, every third month, we're offered the option to upgrade to the Lux box, which is an additional $24.99, making the box $50 plus sales tax. And again, that's every third month. And I will link my previous video where I actually went into full details on um, how the charges work because it'll take too long. And they also offer the BoxyCharm Premium Box, which is $35 per month. Now, sadly, at this time, you cannot do premium and upgrade to Lux on that particular box. Um, so yeah. So if you want to upgrade to Lux, you must have the base box. Now let's get to it and let's start opening up these boxes because I'm honestly wondering what in the world I received because I'm concerned. Am I going to like it? I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> um, so I did open the box just to make sure nothing was missing i counted my items so i kind of got a sneak peek for the month of march fenty beauty rihanna's brand did a takeover for box charm and on this particular box um everything will be fenty products now we did find out what the items would be but there will be variations when it comes to color selection and also for the Fenty box or whenever there is possibly any future collaborations, the monetary value would be lower than $175. Um, again, when it's a collaboration box, typically what happens is that's a lot more expensive for BoxyCharm and the brands to do. So for example, this box would have a total value of $143. So, very cool custom packaging to fit the Fenty brand. I'm going to set it down because I'm in a tight space. And there's all prices in the back. Now, I would like to note, because a lot of people were wondering this, um, in here we have the Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. Let me pull that guy. 
beautiful. I've actually wanted this eyeshadow palette for so long and I was about to buy it because it's been on sale at Sephora. Sephora has had it for like $29, $27, something like that. And everyone was wondering, is BoxyCharm gonna put the price for the full retail or the sale price that's been running for the last six months because this is one of the original not the original but one of the first real palettes Fenty launched and thankfully BoxyCharm did write down that this is retailed at $29 on the back it gives us all the color names it says um, this has a nine month shelf life once you start using it this packaging is just so beautiful in my opinion again i've wanted to purchase fenty products but they are so pricey and personally i don't usually like to go shopping at sephora because they don't have a great rewards program now here's the eyeshadow palette it comes with a great assortment in my opinion of matte and shimmers Personally, I feel this palette would fit so many different skin tones because of the variety of colors and um, I honestly cannot wait to use this palette. I'm going to be later on doing a tutorial um, with this particular eyeshadow palette. Um, it will be a collaboration with a few of my friends that I'm talking to. Stay tuned for that. The next thing I got was the... Fenty blotting paper, the Invisimat. This retails for $16. It's just like the normal Fenty um, detailing with the little cartridge for the paper. I do like this idea for her blotting paper because you could just cut down the piece you need if you're like oily or whatever. You could just blot it on. I don't usually use these. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up keeping it, but I do know plenty of people that like these kind of blotting papers and it's great. You can always buy refill cartridges for like $8, I wanna say, which is not bad. And again, it's nice, it's compact, um, and it's very discreet when you think about it. This is one of the matchsticks and I got Chili Mango. I'm actually so excited I got this shade. I, I saw the selections that they offered and I was not excited. So I only like this one or the, there was like a pinky shade I wanna say. So this particular matchstick can be used as blush, which is why I was very excited to get it because now I've been getting a lot more into cream products. Um, I've noticed now that my skin's getting older, I have a lot more texture and everything. It, it's just a lot smoother application for me in general. And the matchstick retails $25. And another neat thing is like, if you get more than one, they all actually, it's magnetic. So they all lock in together. And then this is the Glossy Bomb in Diamond Milk. I've always wanted to try the Fenty, um, I've always wanted to try the Fenty Gloss Formula. I wanted to buy the Holiday Set. Again, it's just so pricey and especially when I have so many lip products, you know, you weigh your pros and cons. Is it worth spending $42, $45 when you have like several dozen glosses and lip products? Well, that's several dozen just glosses, not including lip products. I have at least a hundred lipsticks. So that's always my constant battle when I actually go to the store and purchase other products. Is it worth me buying it? Do I really need it? And a lot of times it's a no. This is one of the Mademoiselle's, Mademoiselle's, Plush Matte Lipstick. This retails for $18. I got this shade single. Let's see. Mm, it's not bad, actually. It's a nice kind of like mauve tone. Oh, man. I 
I didn't touch it with my hand or anything. And neither did the cap. And for some reason, there's like this little funky spot. I don't know if you guys could see that. There's like a weird... I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like this little weird spot on the side. I'm gonna send a picture to BoxyCharm because, again, I'm looking at my fingers. I didn't touch it whatsoever. I'm looking at the cap and it wasn't nicked. So, I don't know what that is. And I'll make sure to post a picture here for a better view. It's kind of odd, if you know what I mean? Now, this is one of the Kilowatt Highlighters in Trophy Wife. This is super gold. It reminds me of Gold Member from Austin Powers. I wish they would have picked better colors when it comes to these highlighters because I want to say everyone got this exact same one. I want to say that this was one of the original launches for the highlighters, but being that not everyone can use this particular shade, that's kind of a bummer. Um, so when it comes to the Fenty box, even though I'm glad I was able to get the box, again, a lot of the items I did want is just, you know, I hadn't purchased them. Um, definitely worth my $35. I just wish they had a better assortment when it came to products, especially when Fenty offers so much out there. Like, why couldn't we gotten the contour sticks? That would have been awesome. Or different selection of these kilowatt highlighters you know what i mean where the majority can actually get a good use out of it because trophy wife unless i'm planning on doing gold looks i'm not going to get any use out of it because i know it's not going to be complementary to my skin so that's that's a bummer and we'll move on to lux lux box this box is ultra ultra light just to start off <sighs> i have variation eight and this month's theme is pretty edgy everyone got this month the pmd beauty smart facial cleansing device which retails for 99 dollars this is a sonic glow technology, not only to ensure a deep cleanse, but provides a way to lift firm and tone problem areas for a more, more youthful appearance. Um, this is very, very cool, but I already have like two different facial cleansers, so I wouldn't necessarily be so pumped for it in a sense, because again, I have my Foro, I can't pronounce the word, but I have that, which has been my OG favorite um, since I got it through Fat Fit Fun years ago, and it's still great. I also recently got one from Spa Science, and that one is really, really good, and you can use it everywhere. So I'm pissed about this, you guys. I got hair ties, like really, hair ties. Allure Beauty Box sent me these months ago in a $15 box. I'm getting this in a $50 box, like really? It's an $8 item. This is very, very annoying, you guys. Like it really, really is. Then, and then I got the Sol de Janeiro Co Bum Bum Cream and Coca Cabana. These retail for $15 for both. Like, why travel sizes? Just give us the one large one, you know what I mean? Like, 
$15. Like, really? Again, a Lore Beauty box. Actually, was the same box I got these. Sent me this. So, the Becca Love Glow Stick. I hate glow sticks, you guys. I really do. So yeah, I always see them on sale or clearance or TJ Maxx, so I'm not excited for that. This is probably the only item which I'm excited for, which is the Murad um, Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisturizer for your eyes. Um, this retails for $70. So, okay, I got one item so far that I feel was worth it, but I could have got it during pop-up for $12. Or I could have gotten it in the base box because it was one of the items in the base box. And then the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment, which is $25. I'm not gonna keep this. This is the shade Give It Up. It uh, looks kind of like a more vibrant kind of, you know, reddish pink. Probably similar to what I'm wearing on my lips right now, if it's a lip stain, um, maybe just a little bit darker. But again, I guess the color is okay it's just this box is such a damper like I really really regret going with Lux this month if I had just if I had realized I was gonna be getting scrunchies and earrings these are Zach Zaxi by Taylor. Play it by ear paved hooped earrings. Retail for $32. They have these little gems on the side. For starters, my holes are closed because I haven't worn earrings in ages since I was probably a child. I'm allergic to a lot, a lot of metals that I have to wear platinum or sterling or like pure silver these are made in china which i know for a fact will cause a reaction on me so this is i was annoyed because i knew there was going to be an issue and i emailed boxycharm because i was not able to make any choices for march because there was another glitch in the system and so I couldn't make a choice. And I emailed BoxyCharm and told them, I can't make my choice. Can you please just make sure I do not get earrings or the straws? And the last item is the Becca. Ugh, not the Becca. The last item is the BoxyCharm branded eyeshadow palette in Hello Charmer. This Hello Charmer palette is considered cruelty free and it's made in Taiwan, you guys, just in case you don't know. I'm looking at the label in the back. Um, the printing is very cool. They actually put all the different hashtags plus all the different like charm groups, which is cool. Like I'm a part of Boxy Baddies, so that's really neat. I'm not gonna lie, colors are cool. When I kept on seeing pictures online, I was not excited for this palette because it looked, eh. For me, again, picture-wise, it looked like it had a lot of yellows. Like this whole row looked like yellow tones or mustardy tones to me. And then these definitely did as well. But now looking at it in person, um, Actually, I do like the shades. They look very pretty, so I'll change my mind. I like this palette as well. Um, again, it's just, maybe I was just prejudging because, again, the pictures looked horrible online. BoxyCharm, do a better job po posting pictures, you know what I mean? 
but I mean, overall, I'm torn. Like, yes, overall, I like my Fenty box, and it, with an exception that I wish they would have done a better assortment when it came to color selection. Because again, not everyone can use gold. I'm not gonna use gold and I'm not gonna keep it, you know what I mean? And even if I did it in a giveaway, that winner might not be able to use it either. It's it's very selective on who can use that color. Um, I don't know you guys, me personally, everything I got in this box that I actually like, I could have gotten it inside my inside the base box and only spent the $25. And I could have saved my $25. My additional basically $25. I could have saved that money. So for me, Lux was a total flop this this March. I'm gonna actually be more cautious when it comes to um the next one in June because <sighs> I'm sorry this is crap this is absolute crap to get an eight dollar hair tie I would have much rather get the stupid um hair towel you know what I mean I have more use out of that yes I hear these are great but again I got it in my $15 Allure box, including this right here and Sunday Riley. So I guess I should have just, you know, gotten two of the Allure boxes. BoxyCharm, if you ever see this, step it up because this box, again, this was the only item in my opinion along with this, that was worthwhile. All these other little filler products are an absolute joke. They are. I literally got the box with all the scraps. That's how I feel. I got all the scraps in my box. Sadly for me, I'm locked in for uh, an entire year, so I can't say, oh, I'm gonna skip a month if I don't like it. So I'm, you know, I'm SOL like they say, but I will say, and again, I, I have it linked up in the top. I am excited for premium next month. I saw the sneak peeks and I'm excited for the base box because I actually was able to do my choice item, which was on Tuesday. Don't forget on Thursday is premium choice. Oh, well, you guys, let me know what you guys think about this Lux box. Do you feel like me? This was like, it looks like they were scrounging scrounge around for fillers. Because it's a lot of travel size items, especially when they say one of their shade names is full size. What well, freaking full size? This is a joke. That's a joke. So... <sighs> Sorry for the sad boxy charm video. I hope you'll rate it some way or another, up or down, whichever way. But honestly, let me know what you guys think. How was your box? Are you happy with your Lux box? Are you upset with your Lux, Lux box? Because personally, I've seen a lot more upset and disappointed people than happy. The ones that I've seen happy, which is the box I had wished I had gotten, got the blush palette inside and had a much better assortment. But basically, everyone that got these are just beyond disappointed. Anyways, you guys, I'm just going to leave it off there. Thank you so very much, and you guys have a great day.